Nelly, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a Halloween makeup tutorial. For today, I am going to be showing you guys how to create this queen bee makeup look. We have the crown, we have a bee, we have some 3D beehive with some honey dripping down. We have some gold foil in the inner corners. I really wanted to go all out because this is my only Halloween tutorial for this year. I've had this look in mind for the past two and a half months, maybe even to three months. Ever since American Horror Story came out with that beehive head, I knew that I wanted to do a queen bee, but I wanted to do it a little bit different. I wanted to make her more girly. I wanted to make her a little bit sexier. So this is what I created. It's kind of like half human half bee if you will super easy to recreate and that's in my face right now you can find at a local craft store or at your local party city or spirit halloween you know at any halloween store you are going to be able to find exactly what i use and of course i use some makeup to, um, some makeup palettes and the contacts and all of that but i'm gonna have everything listed down below from my crown to the bee to the contacts to the wig Yes, this is a wig. I'm obsessed with it. I probably won't ever do my hair ever again. Um, but yeah, so I will have everything linked down below. It's very easy to do. This could be a really fun last minute idea. Um, if you have a party to go to, or if you're going to Katrina and you want to scare little kids, whatever, wherever you want to wear this look, I think you look stunning. So that's it. I'm going to stop rambling and I am going to show you guys how to create this very sexy queen bee <laughs> okay let's hydrate really quickly and let's get started so i'm gonna start off by taking some latex and latex is really important you can also use spirit gum if you would like i used both and i found that the latex worked better this is going to make it really easy for the wax that we are going to be applying to stick to the skin and also it's going to make it really easy for you to rip it off when you are ready to take off your makeup i applied that latex up in the forehead in in the cheekbone also in the chin you pretty much want to apply this anywhere where you want to apply your beehive so now I'm gonna go in with my wax and my wax was so cheap I got this for three dollars at my local Halloween store but this wax is tricky any wax that you're gonna work with it will be tricky you definitely need to use some oil I went ahead and I used coconut oil that is the only way that you're going to be able to work with it because since it is a waxy texture it will get stuck to your fingers if you don't go ahead and and use an oil with it so I would dip my fingers into my coconut oil and then I rolled it up into a little ball and then I placed it on the areas where I wanted the wax to be now once I had it placed you can see here again once you have it placed you want to go ahead and take your fingers and kind of smooth it over make it nice and flat and then you want to go in with a little spatula this one is actually a nail spatula like a cuticle one I actually got this in my boxy charm funny enough it truly did come in hand and you just want to smooth out the edges you definitely want the edges to be nice and smooth so that it looks like it's blending into your skin you want the wax to look like it's coming from your skin and you don't want any harsh edges I mean you you will eventually get a little bit of harshness but you want it to be as smooth as possible so now that we have laid down our wax we're gonna go and really quickly do our eyes I'm starting off with a concealer and then I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette I'm gonna take the shade Pooter and I'm going to apply this to my crease and this is going to be my transition shade I wanted to give her a nice smoky black eye so I love this palette because it brings all the colors I need in one I'm gonna go into the shade Roxanne and I'm going to apply this a little bit lower in my crease again doing the same technique back and forth back and forth and really concentrating that color in the crease and then I'm, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more pooter and just blend out the edges I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Gel Liner in Black and I'm going to apply this all over my lid and this is going to be the base for the black eyeshadow. I actually have a smoky eye tutorial that's very similar to this one so I will have it linked down below if you want a video that goes in a little bit more information about this really dark smoky eye so i'm gonna go in with the black shade from the palette which is called abyss and i'm going to just pack it right on top when j valvin and beyonce comes on 
you know we got a jam <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take the color uh jacks i believe and i'm just going to place this in the crease just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and just to add a little bit more smokiness and to blend out all those harsh edges again go back in with that pooter shade and just blend everything out so i don't want to do anything too crazy to my eyebrows so the only thing that i did was i applied some clear brow gel nothing fancy okay so here comes the fun part you're gonna go ahead and grab a pencil you want to use a pencil because the back of the pencil is the same exact shape as a beehive like you as a little i don't know what they're called the honeycombs i think that's what it's called but it's the same shape as that pattern that you see in the beehive so you're going to take the pencil you're going to dip it into coconut oil and then you're going to place it inside the wax you definitely want to place the pencil in the coconut oil because if you don't do so the pencil is going to stick to the wax and it's actually going to rip it off so you want to get the pencil nice and wet with coconut oil and then begin to create the pattern you definitely want to go in order you don't just want to do random little circles you need to go in order because that is how the beehive is set up like everything is nice and in line so feel free to do whatever you like but that's just my opinion when it comes to creating the design very easy very fast um but yeah it's a very cool effect so i'm gonna go ahead and take some foundation and i'm just going to apply it all over the skin using a beauty blender when you go over the wax be very nice and gentle you definitely don't want to push down too hard and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to apply some concealer i am using the ysl all hours concealer it has been one of my favorites i'm just going to apply a little bit of that under the eyes i'm going to go ahead and take some translucent setting powder and i'm just going to apply this all over my skin again being very gentle when it comes to working with the wax just want to set everything into place and then i'm going to go ahead and take some yellow and gold paint i started off with the gold paint first and this is when we are going to start adding dimension to the beehive so i took my beauty blender and i pat it right on top of all of the areas and i actually had to do this cheek piece over because i added too much wax and it was weighing way too much so i actually had to redo it so if you see it a little bit different that is what happened so once you have that paint all, all over the honeycombs i'm going to go in with the anastasia beverly hills subculture palette i'm going to take that yellow shade that's in that palette and i'm going to take the brush that actually came in the palette and i'm just going to begin to again just add dimension to the look you want to shade it you want to play with it you know take your time look at yourself in the mirror and see what you need look at a picture for reference so that you can kind of see the color scheme of what an actual beehive honeycomb looks like i feel like i'm saying that's so weird i'm sorry english is not my first language <laughs> so then once i had that yellow all over i went in with the color fudge also from that subculture palette and I began to place this inside the actual holes that we created. And again, this is just for dimension. Go crazy with it. Add some brown, add some yellow, add some mustard. Add, you can even add a little bit of black if you would like to. Feel free to shade it in however you like. I decided to add a little piece to my nose because I felt like my nose was missing a little of action. So I just added a little bit of wax and yeah, do the same thing over. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to take the same mixture that I did in my crease in my lower lash line. So same thing that you did in the crease. You're just going to go ahead and repeat it in the lower lashes. I'm going to take a flat definer brush and I'm just going to apply black to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner. This one's by Buxom. And I'm just going to line my water line. So now I'm going to go in with some goil, goil, some gold foil leaves. These are like little nail arts. You can find this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere. I picked mine up on Amazon, but I do know that they have them. I'm going to take a little bit of lash glue, place it in the inner corner. And then I'm going to take little pieces of the foil and just place it right on top you can also do rhinestones you can do studs feel free to make it your own i'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes i am using the icon lashes in the style bella and then for the lips i am taking the kevin aquan metallic lips in gold again please feel free to use any gold that you would like you can even use a highlighter if you would like to and then i'm just going to top it off with a little bit of gloss now for the honey dripping i originally wanted to take some makeup gel 
but my local store didn't have it so we had to improvise and I actually think it turned out great so I took some clear hair gel and I mixed in a gold glitter and a gold pigment and I just apply that with my butter knife <laughs> onto my face onto the areas where it was a beehive and that is it it turned out great and I love it because it's not sticky and it comes right off and you won't be sticky all night long so after you have applied your fake honey all you want to do is add in your contacts your wig if you want to your bee accessorize and that's it you're a queen <laughs> Alrighty, you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please have a happy and safe halloween and i'll see you guys very soon with another video i love you bye